at this time, we have roll call, please. Here. Councilwoman Lopez Viado. Present. Councilmember Shoemaker. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Wu. Here. Mayor Johnson. Here. Uh, reporting out of closed session, um, Mr. City Attorney, is there anything to report on? Nothing, Mr. Mayor. Again, Mr. City Manager, any changes to the agenda? Thank you, Mayor and Council. If I may, I'd like to remove item six from your agenda tonight. I'll return with that at the next meeting. At this time, we have a, a few presentations we're going to give, so I'm going to come down front. You hear me now? Oh, okay, I can hear myself. <laughs> okay, tonight we have a uh, few presentations. First one's for a small business Saturday. I'd like to have uh, call forward Pauline Morales, economic development and housing manager. Please come down wherever you are. There she comes. The city of West Covina is pleased to announce that the city will be participating in the small business Saturday for the fourth time. This year's event will be held on Saturday, November the 30th, in 2019. I would like to present Paulina Morales, our Economic Development and Housing Manager, with a proclamation to share with our business community proclaiming November the 30th, 2019 as a small business. Uh, as I give you this proclamation right here, and I'd like to see if you want to say a few words. Sure. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Um, so every year after Thanksgiving, we have Small Business Saturday, and it's a way to encourage uh, our residents and consumers to shop local and shop small, uh, really to help promote our small businesses and help support them. Uh, they, are, they have great contributions to our communities, and so we want to give back to them. So uh, this year, the city is hosting our small business program. We've been doing it for a couple years, but this year we're really trying to um, encourage and uh, reward those residents that participate in shop small shop local so every time that you uh, shop or um, visit a participating small business in West Covina you'll be entered to win a raffle prize um, you do have to sign up for a program and it's all online we have the flyers both for if you're a business and want to participate or if you're a resident and want to participate. Um, so the prizes will be gift cards and gift baskets. And so, like I said, every time that you pr uh, or visit a participating business, you, get, you enter an additional entry into the raffle. So we hope and encourage you guys to shop local, shop small on November 30th for uh, Small Business uh, Day. Um, I'd like to call up uh, Councilman uh, Dario Castellanos. He'll be presenting another certificate. Thank you, Ms. Morales. I'd like to recognize C.S. Taylor Shop for being a West Covina small business. Mr. Carlos Solis opened his shop in our community in 1999 and is celebrating his 20th year anniversary of being a West Covina small business. I'd like to call it Mr. Carlos Solis. Thank you. And his son, Josh. I'd like to present you guys with this certificate. Thank you very much and congratulations. Would you like to say anything? Thank you very much for um, for this. Uh, um, sorry, for este reconocimiento. Thank you. Recognition. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Okay, our next uh, presentation for the Gold Service EMS Award presentation. I'd like to call up our Fire Chief uh, Capelli, please come forward. And 
then I'm going to let you tell everybody what it's all about. And I do have an award for you. Thank you, Mayor. You're very welcome. So the West Covina Fire Department was honored by LA County Department of Health Services and American Heart Association, second year in a row. This year we're a gold plus EMS provider in the county of Los Angeles. Last year we were a gold. This year we're plus, which is better. Um, they recognize our care when it comes to American Heart Association guidelines and care for cardiac care and stroke victims. So in, um, in 2017, 18 in strokes, in the city of West Covina, we responded to 62 and 48. 62 of them in 2017 and 48 in 2018. 96% of those, the paramedics got it right and the person was having a stroke and we got them to the proper facility to get care. In 2017 and 2018, we had 70 plus cardiac arrests. And cardiac arrest is when a person is not breathing and their heart is not pumping and where they need intervention immediately. 30% of those times, the paramedics were able to get return of spontaneous combustion, which is spontaneous circulation. Sorry, I got fire and EMS mess up there. 30% uh, of the time is excellent when it's usually four to five minutes of no oxygen where you can't get recovery. So we're going to show a video of one of those times that the fire department arrived on scene and was able to successfully get return of spontaneous circulation on a victim we responded on. We played the video? Sorry, having a little technical difficulties. basically a normal other day and we had lunch and then we went out to play we're talking and everything and all of a sudden Adam falls forward and we thought it was a joke because it was April Fool's and we thought he's, he was going to put his hands out but he never did and then he fell onto the concrete and then Joshua went to him and then saw blood and then I ran to go get help and a lot of different things going through my head so I was scared it was the longest drive I've ever had. I could hear a new nate on the walkie saying, we need an ambulance, we need an ambulance. Um, a student's hurt and there's blood. His, his body was very limp and we knew that it was more than him just falling and hitting himself. You don't think that, oh, you know, it's so dramatic that it's, his heart is gonna stop on campus. Like, that doesn't happen. Like, when does that happen? It just seemed like an eternity from us uh, saying we need we need help we need help and then hearing the firemen's uh, sirens approaching. I have my drug box and my monitor going towards him, and there's a just a sheer look of panic on the teachers that are there. And at that point, noticing that Adam's breaths had stopped, and we started shouting, "Please, please!" He just stopped breathing. When we first arrived on scene, we found Adam lifeless. He was clinically dead. He has no heart rate whatsoever, and he isn't breathing. My partner Joe got on chest compressions right away. Uh, we got the IV established. Uh, we put the pads on him, uh, shocked his heart. Um, and then within about three minutes of that, there was a, a beautiful agonal breath that Adam <gasps> gasped. And the feeling that I felt that chest rising underneath my right hand was the most amazing feeling. That same feeling of, of watching your kids born, that's the same feeling I had when Adam took that deep breath. 
they called me and told me the paramedics are taking him to Queen of the Valley. And I said, why? They wouldn't tell me anything. They just said, just go straight to the hospital. I was the emergency doc on duty and I heard from the nurse that uh, this 11 year old boy was coming in. He had been unresponsive. He had stopped breathing, didn't have a pulse. When I heard that, my first thought was, uh, oh no, this is not good. When we first arrived at Queen of Valley, it was great because we have the doctors and nurses ready to receive Adam. They take him into the room and they continue to monitor him. He got here and he had just resumed pulses upon arrival. So they got his heart beating again. Um, his mom was there and his dad was there. And it's one of those emotional moments. Um, I have kids, so it's hard. Those cases are really hard. I was thinking, I was thinking the worst. I was thinking when my son was gone, was he gonna be? Was he gonna be with me? Was he gonna be okay? I had a lot of things running through my mind. Questions. Why? Why him? We need a bigger ER. We have had a lot of good changes. Directors, we have more resources now. We don't have space. Frequently, don't, we don't have a room that's open. We have to wait for a room to open up that causes delay in patient care. And the fact that we don't have enough beds for the patients or spaces for the patients takes longer for us to see them because there's nowhere to put people. Uh, sometimes I'm nervous and, and worry about when my family calls 911 or if you call 911, we're going to be unable to necessarily respond to you. There have been times where we've been um, at Queen of the Valley and we're hugging a wall. We're sitting there with the patient, still providing medical care, but we can't get them a bed. And so we're hearing calls on the radio go out that we cannot respond to. And most of the time, those calls are more serious than the ones that we're with. Um, and we have a stable patient, but we can't leave because there's no room for them. That also contributes to the congestion in the hallways because we have our patients who are waiting for their results, patients who are waiting to be seen. So it uh, gets a little tight. So to have a new ER, a bigger ER, I feel it's a responsible thing to do for the community. I've been in this community for the past 14 years, and I've seen Eminate Health, Queen of the Valley, take care of their patients in like you would your family, like you would your friends and they, they are the community's hospital. So for me personally, I would love to see the ER grow and be able to provide better services, more services to the community. I can't even imagine what, what would have happened if my son would have not been treated, if he would have been turned away because the emergency room was too full. No, he wouldn't be here. Adam's doing great. Adam, you know, he's fine, he's healthy. Doctors have, you know, cleared him to play sports and to do pretty much anything that he wants to do. He's a healthy little boy now. I'm thankful that the West Covina paramedics and fire department arrived when they did. And I'm grateful for the Queen of the Valley Emergency Department. They were able to get Adam the help that he needed to get better. We have a really good team here. We have really good doctors, really good nurses. And we all did our part to make sure that he was able to see his parents again. No matter what, we won't forget that day, but we try to leave it behind us. My family and I would really, really like to thank the, the whole staff, uh, doctors and nurses from the bottom of our heart. We're really grateful to them because if it wasn't for them, my son wouldn't be here.
So that's a great success story of uh, the West Covina Fire Department being there to serve the community and get return of spontaneous circulation. Um, the fire department and the responders were honored at an event by Queen of the Valley, and they will be honored again um, by the city and by the fire department. One thing I want to point out, one thing that we can work on in the community, which we have plans in the near future, is our citizen CPR. Last year we had, like I said, 70 cardiac arrests, or it's 27 in 2018, only 14% of those, which isn't bad in the county, but it could be a whole lot better of citizens initiating care CPR to the patients. And we want to work on that in West Covina. And the fire department is going to be a key factor of that. And we're going to do that. She'll look for some, some great things in the future for um, citizen CPR. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. And on that note, just, just a quick reminder how precious life is how it can be gone in an instant. So now I want to say thank you so very much for our fire department for a fantastic job they did. At this time, we have the Golden Eagles of Los Angeles Area Council. Uh, tonight, the city of Escovino would like to recognize Troop 433 for their victory at the 2019 Golden Eagle Los Angeles Area Council at Camp Ori. To speak more about it, I would like to invite the Troop 433 and the Scoutmaster Armando Santos. Please come forward. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I'm proud to say that Davin Britt, our senior patrol leader, happens to be holding the spirit stick that these boys worked very, very hard to win last year in 2019. They've actually won it three times out of the last four years. And there's, this is within over 400 scouts competing for this spirit stick. So they put in a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. And I just want to say, um, we meet at the Knights of Columbus every Tuesday evening. If anyone ever wants to see how these boys run a troop, it's a boy-ran troop. They become very successful, successful uh, adults. And um, just thank you so much for having us and recognize, recognizing these boys on their achievement. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would everybody just please come on up here. We're going to get some photos from all you guys up here, please. And I have a certificate to give you on both sides. Let's go on both sides. Could you in the center? Come on, guys. Come on both sides of your troop, Matt. You can go on both sides. And you guys like each other. <laughs> oh. All right, before we get away, I do have a certificate. And uh, we want to get one more picture with it, if you would. It's a City of West Covina Certificate of Recognition for Boy Scouts of America, Troop 433, Golden Eagle, Los Angeles Area, uh, Council Camp. Anything right in front of you right there? Thank you so much. Let's get, let's get another picture with all of the bodies. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Now, before I go and sit down, I, I didn't think I was going to make any mistakes tonight, but I already made one. I forgot to mention who our choir was. Our choir was from the West Covina High School the choir and uh, D Director Tyler. So I want to personally thank them for the fantastic job they did. Can we give them another big applause so them know that we didn't forget them? Thank you. Uh, this <laughs> At this time, I shall open up for oral communications. If you haven't filled out a yellow card, be, please do. They were up on front out there. And you hand them to our city clerk, and she will call you out. It's up to you. Thank you. I'd like to call forward uh, Herb Redholtz, followed by Johnny Chua, followed by Colleen Rosati.
Good evening, Mr. Mayor, council members, packed house. Wouldn't that be great if this was this way every meeting? <laughs> Have a full house here of residents. Uh, Mayor Johnson, Lloyd, I've known you a long time, probably going on 25 years. And I'm here tonight to tell you I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You have risen to the occasion. You represented this city as the mayor for the past 18 months with dignity and honor. You know, you've been to every event. You've been the face and the voice of the city at all of these functions, and you've served us, you've served us proud. And, you know, if you're looking for someone who's an eloquent speaker and who can string words along as if they were poems, Vin Scully's your guy. Uh, Lloyd, Lloyd Johnson, not, not so much, not so much. Uh, I'm working on it, I'm getting there. Uh, but, you know, if you want a guy that's, you know, got a big heart, that's looking out for the people, he's a man of the people and for the people, that'll listen to you, take your situation and your issues seriously and follow through on it and get back to you and make sure that it's been resolved to your satisfaction. Lloyd's your guy. And, you know, you did a great job. I want to thank you for that. And I look forward to your continuing, you know, on the city council. And, uh, you know, we the residents and the citizens and the businesses in this city are, are lucky to have you up there. So thank you very much for that. And uh, Tony Wu. Tony Wu. <laughs> Didn't want to screw that. That's a tough name, Tony. That's a tough name. Uh, you know, this is uh, this this council has had a lot of firsts over the years. You know, we had uh, Nancy Manners was the first female mayor of this city, and we had uh, Frederick Sykes was the first African American to sit on that up there as the mayor, and I believe Richard Melendez was the first Hispanic. That was sat up there, and and uh, and Ben Wong was Chinese American, the first one. But I believe you're the first immigrant to fresh, fresh, off, the fresh off the boat. One of my favorite shows, by the way. One of my favorite. You haven't seen it? Check it out. It's a great show. But so this is another first tonight, and it kind of shows that you know we went to we were kind of forced to go into districts because apparently we weren't you know diverse enough and we weren't electing a diverse crowd but if you could look back over the years we did it without anybody telling us to right. or being forced to we did it because we elected the people we wanted to and they did a good job and we didn't care you know whether they were you know white or black or Asian or Hispanic it didn't make any difference you know if they if we felt they were going to do the good job for us we elected them and then if we liked them we elected them again and if we didn't like them Hey, we didn't. That's why you have elections. But, you know, uh, Tony, we're looking forward to a good year from you as mayor. Uh, too bad you couldn't get anybody to come out and support you tonight, but, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe next time, you know. But uh, anyway, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a, please do that. Please do that. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to your, uh, to your popularity and, and your likability and, and, and your ability, and we're looking forward to a good year. And, you know, the city... Uh, is uh, you know, needs good leadership, and uh, you know we think we have it, and uh, we look forward to a good year. Congratulations to you moving forward. Congratulations to you, Lloyd, for doing a great job, and uh, we look forward to good things from both of you and the whole council. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Everybody, this is, my name is Johnny Chua. I stand respectfully in front of you tonight as the president of the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce and Gabriel Valley to congratulate Lloyd for a very good year. As I echo what the gentleman said, I wouldn't have known you if you were not have been elected, honestly. But I missed the cowboy hat, you know. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> didn't worry, you know. Yeah. And likewise, I'm, I, I came to know Tony, look forward to working with you, and I will always support what the Council of City West Covina and, and, and you know, endeavors. You will always have our the Filipino community support, okay? And likewise, uh, wearing many hats, I'd like to, I'm the uh, one of the founding director for the Chinese American Association of <coughs> Walnut, here to try and congratulate everyone as well, Tony, for your incoming uh, mayorship, and more power to you guys. And another last thing, on behalf of City Blessing Church of Walnut, I'm certain that all of you council have received the invitation for the <coughs> annual, this is the sixth Lights on Miracle Hill event, which the opening ceremony would be December the 7th. So I hope you guys will make it. This is, I always said, one of the only kind in the entire San Gabriel Valley. Opening ceremony is on December 1st. Everybody here is invited. It will, the, the event is a, a concurring nine evenings of the weekends of December from six to nine. It's free, just come in, everybody's welcome, enjoy the show, it's a, it's a Christmas light show for everyone to enjoy. I look forward to everyone, thank you, good night. Good evening, Colleen Rosati, West Covina Beautiful, um, along with the city treasurer, thank you. I want to announce that West Covina Beautiful will be doing our annual Home for the Holiday Decorating Contest. Contest applications are now on our website and our Facebook. It'll begin on December 9th. Judging will take place on Friday, December 13th. Please fill out the application, join us, it's a fun event. Uh, watch our Facebook for the voting. We had about 7,500 people last year reach out to West Covina Beautiful on Facebook and vote, it was fun. We've also added another component, a home for the holiday toy drive, which will also be on December 13th from six to nine, and that's also on our Facebook. Bring an unwrapped gift for a child for any age. Help fill Santa's workshop and make a difference this holiday season. In closing, i just like to say to Lloyd, thank you. You've done a great job. Uh, you should be very proud of yourself. You've led the city with dignity, grace, and passion, and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of, to call you my friend, and I wish you all the best. Was that the last one? Correct, we have no more speaker cards. Okay, at, at, this, at this time I shall close the oral communications and we open up our consent calendar uh, for, uh, uh, from what I understand, none of the items are gonna be pulled off the consent calendar, but uh, Mayor Pro Tem will be voting no on item number three, is that correct? Okay, and I know our city manager pulled item number six earlier. Okay, so do I have a motion to accept the consent calendar? So move. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. We have a roll call, please. Councilman Castellanos? Aye. Councilman Lopez Viado? Aye. Councilmember Shoemaker? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Wu? Aye. Mayor Johnson? Aye. Okay, that, that's 5 0. Now, we, is there any uh, mayor or council members' reports? Uh, did we have any 1234s to report? Seeing none, we shall move forward. So, we, don't, we do not have any. Uh, public hearings tonight, anything? So at this time we shall move into our city council reorganization. You know, I'd like to say something if I may. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. You know, I, first of all, before I say, I would like to say thank you to my wife. You know, she has put up with me for the last 18 months, above and beyond what we did. <laughs> and without her support, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> 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 you know, it has been a real honor being the mayor for the last 18 months, representing the residents of this great city. And like it says, as being the mayor, which our mayor pro tem, our future mayor, 
uh, we will find out there's, I did at least a half a dozen or more events, small business events, that they wanted just the mayor to be there. They didn't want, they didn't want the whole council to be there. So I attended them because I was the mayor. I don't care if it was a small business or a big business. They're all the same in the city of West Covina. So, and last, because I'm gonna make it very short and sweet, because our new mayor, he's gonna take up the rest of the time. I would talk forever. <laughs> <laughs> talk forever. On this one, what I do wanna thank, I wanna thank this council for appointing me and trusting me that I would represent the office as mayor in a high dignity manner. Without your trust, I couldn't have done this job and had the opportunity to do it. So I wanna thank all four of you. Thank you so very much for the opportunity to do it. So at this time, we shall move forward. And uh, with the confirmation of our mayor and our mayor pro tem, at this time, I would like to nominate mayor pro tem, Tony Rue as our new mayor. I'll second that. Okay, uh, seeing no objections. And if somebody wants to object, it's a uh, 5-0. <laughs> and our next one is uh, I would like to nominate uh, Councilwoman uh, Letty Lopez as our Mayor Pro Tem. Do I have a second on that one? Second. Okay, seeing no objections, it's 5 0. Okay, now we shall move forward. After you become mayor, okay. it's your job. Can you go down this one in? No, I think you go to go to the. Uh, I'll give you a flag first. All right, no, you know, we have to be mayor first. No. We got to argue about this. Okay, let's go do it. <laughs> Um, I'm acting as a mayor because I have been okay, swaying yet. So, but but I want to do this so I can uh, talk to my buddy. Okay, uh, Lloyd Johnson is a fine mayor. Okay, year and a half we work together. We like husband wife. <laughs> I don't think so. Another wife. Another wife. Here's my another wife. No, okay. But anyway, uh, the point is this, okay, we, we, we love each other, we help each other, we went to China together, we, okay, uh, really, uh, and then we fight, right? We have a different ideology, and uh, I think that sometimes that is what this is about. Even we on the dial, we have a different idea, but we're still friends. And uh, off the dial, we help each other, and uh, we compete. Okay, who go to more event? <laughs> he go that one, and I see the Facebook he posts, then by the way, go to the two. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and he beat me fair and square. He went much more than me, maybe double, okay, because he's retired, he have all the time. <laughs> and I still, ha I still have a day job, okay, so, so that's not fair. But anyway, he's so proud, called Lowy Johnson, my friend, okay, and uh, a good mayor. And I really thank you, okay, for this year and a half. And uh, we work together, we cover each other, we represent the city. He represents the city well. And so proud, okay. I don't want to see you go, okay. And uh, <laughs> you will be the mayor again. Over yeah, you move to, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to send him to Siberia. He can move <laughs> to another side. But, but he's going to, okay, be elected again next year. I wish you all the best, okay. So he will be a mayor again. He's a fine mayor. But other than that, I want to be mayor, hurry up, so, so. <laughs> I've been waiting a year and a half, it's about time, okay, so. I, I, don't, I won't be choose, but, but he is a good guy. Uh, Lo, you want to say something? No. <laughs> how, how do you follow that, right? You know, it has been an honor working with Tony. You know, we sit in the mayor mayor protein team meetings, we do certain different things that we have to do, and we worked really good together. We've, yes, we've agreed and disagreed on quite a few things. But you know what, friendship never got in the way. You have to separate your politics 
from your friendship. And Tony and I have been able to do that. And we will always do that, even though he's on side type bossing me around now, since he's the mayor. You're talking now. Whoa, wait a minute. No. But anyway, once again, I want to thank this council. I want to thank my loving wife for standing beside me all this time. Without her, I wouldn't be doing this. You know, from when I first, when I first uh, got elected, when I first ran the first time in 2013, she was the last one to know that I was running. <laughs> she said, I figured you were, but you never told me. In 2015, when I ran, she was the first one I told. And she was stood behind me at 100%, and she still does. So here, moving forward, Tony, I wish you all the best in the world. I know you'll do a fantastic job as a mayor if we can just get you to put one. As a council, we decided we're going to put, you know those collars that you put on your, your dogs to train them from barking too much? Well, we decided we're going to buy one for Tony. So when he starts talking too much, we get that little buzzer. <laughs> Mickey, like <laughs> No, Tony, I want to thank you so very much, my friend. Thank you so much. He's talking about, do I have to do a mic? Okay. Uh, he's talking about the buzzer, okay, uh, because sometimes I have a big mouth, so so he buzz me, okay. If I kind of out of line, he's going to buzz me, okay. So, but anyway, it's just a joke. Uh, we we good friend. <laughs> I, I hope I hope it's a joke. <laughs> Jessica say no. <laughs> Jessica say <laughs> Jessica say it's not a joke, okay. <laughs> They're going to put an electric shower on me, okay. So, Mr. Mayor, shut up, okay. So, I know. <laughs> but anyway, we represent West Covina. It's much such an honor to have my buddy, good friend, uh, for this year and a half as a mayor, and here as a small gift. I cannot believe you can take this couple up, okay? Yeah. So, so this is real stuff, so, so you can practice at home. But anyway, thank you so much for your uh, big, okay, uh, dedication for the job, okay? Thank you. I have to pay for it. I'd like to call forward a few individuals who have asked to come forward to speak on behalf of outgoing Mayor Johnson. Uh, first, I'd like to call forward Danica Mendoza, District Representative from the Office of Senator Rubio. Good evening. Good evening, West Covina Council, city staff, and residents. Um, my name is Danica Mendoza, and I'm with the office of State Senator Susan Rubio. On behalf of Senator Rubio, we'd just like to congratulate May outgoing Mayor Lloyd Johnson. I commend, we commend your exceptional integrity and loyalty to our residents. You have represented our constituents with honor, and your service has made a difference in the quality of life for our community. So thank you so much for everything you have done for our community and our residents within the last 18 months. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call forward Los Angeles County Assessor, Jeff Prague. Wow. Thank you very much. So I know what everybody's probably thinking, how do we really capture the spirit of why we are here today and the way you do it is by hearing a speech from the county property tax assessor. <laughs> so, um, and, and, let, and let me simply state for anybody who's confused, I don't collect taxes. There's another guy with a really intuitive title, he's called the tax collector. So it's easy to differentiate, but I'm really thrilled to be able to be here today um, to share with you uh, this, this very special occasion to, to mark your one year uh, term as uh, very long term as uh, mayor. I served as uh, mayor four times in the city of West Hollywood. So it's a, it was, I was, uh, thought it was a great privilege to be the mayor. It was even better privilege to be the former mayor because you don't have to get up so early on, on Saturdays. Um, and I did want to just say a, a, a quick note about 
your decision to hire your new assistant city manager. He used to work for me when I was in the city of West Hollywood. He's a great guy, Mark Persico. But um, um, after doing a lot of hard work for the city, it's appropriate that, uh, that we recognize you for that, uh, for that service. And I brought a really pretty certificate that you'd put on your wall. Um, hopefully it'll impress people. If it's, uh, and, if, and if not, at least make a copy of it and put it in with your tax bill. <laughs> and, and, if, and if that works, I, uh, I want to know. But, uh, uh, but Lloyd, on behalf of the uh, County of Los Angeles Office Assessor, I'm pleased to present you with this proclamation. I'm not going to read it. Suffice it to say, it says a lot of nice things about you. Uh, and you can read it, and you can read it, you and everybody else can read it later. But uh, congratulations. And lastly, I'd like to call forward Taylor Valmores from the Office of Assemblywoman Blanca Rubio. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's my honor to be here on behalf of Assemblymember Blanca Rubio to recognize this fine man be uh, beside me. I just want to say that, uh, Mr. Mayor, you are a public servant of purpose, a man of the community, and here in West Covina, we are lucky to have you. And I know our work isn't done, so we'll be seeing you around, and I uh, can't wait to finish the term. And uh, on behalf of the California State Assembly, uh, Assemblywoman, and the uh, Assembly District of 48, uh, thank you so much for your service. Mayor Wu, if you'd like to come down now, we're going to call forward Pastor Hamill of the Christ Lutheran Church to administer the oath of office to Mayor Tony Wu. Okay, now all serious now, Tony, okay? Put your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. Please repeat after me. I, Tony Wu. I, Tony Wu. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemy, foreign or domestic. <coughs> That I will bear true faith and allegiance. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of the California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. <coughs> And that I will well and faithfully, I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of mayor of West Covina. Discharge the duty of mayor of West Covina. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, if I could have Danica Mendoza with the district, re the district representative for office of Senator Rubio, come up. Okay.
Hello, me again. Um, on behalf of Senator Rubio, Mayor Wu, we'd just like to congratulate you on your installation as mayor to the city of West Covina. We applaud your commitment to our community and look forward to the success that you will bring to our region and our shared constituents. Congratulations. Thank you so much. If I could have former mayor of Walnut, uh, City of Walnut, Mary Chu, on behalf of Assemblyman Dr. Philip Chen of the 55th District, come up. She called me honey. <laughs> Just 49. <laughs> you see, everywhere Tony goes, there's a laugh. There's a joy, isn't he? Exactly. It's my privilege to know Tony uh, for the last of couple of years. And being an elected official public servant actually is not that easy. He has a very successful business, but he's willing to come out to serve the community. I think we should give him a round of applause for his dedication for the West Covina people and also for the Asian community. Thank you. I really cannot say enough how much I appreciate his uh, advice as a friend. Uh, he gave a lot of funny advice. <laughs> but, you know, for the last couple of years, I really see he out there represent West Covina. Every single event, he will tell the people, say, West Covina has 100,000 over population. 120. 120. <laughs> so he make a free advertising for West Covina. I think he is a very good representative. But anyway, uh, congratulations uh, for your dedication for Asian community for city of West Covina. We are very, 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 very proud of your achievement. Thank congratulations. You. Oh, uh, where's the outgoing mayor? Outgoing mayor, actually, we have one for you from uh, Dr. Philip Chen. I'm sorry I did not let your uh, city clerk know. Could you please come out also? And Roy, I know you did a great job. You know, I want to echo uh, your resident what they were saying earlier. Yes. It's an honor coming up to me. Yeah, uh, if people don't know who is Mary Sue, Mary Sue is a, is a city council woman of Warner and the mayor of Warner for so many, many times. So that's what Mary, thank you so much for Mary. We need to come over here. Thank you so much. Still a little bit of his thunder. I think they all heard me. <laughs> if I could have the Los Angeles County Assessor Jeff Prang come up, please. I didn't know he was speaking twice, but uh, <laughs> we should get, grab you, the you city are, council with you. You are, you are a tech assessor, you can do anything. So, um, <laughs> I'm uh, totally I'm thrilled to congratulate you and, uh, and your elevation uh, to the office of mayor. Um, you're following a lot of really fine public servants who have held this position in the past. And uh, as you know, West Covina has a tremendous reputation in the community as being one of the finest managed cities uh, led by some really outstanding public officials like yourself. And uh, just very proud of you and uh, congratulate you today. I too brought you a certificate. It's not nearly as big and fancy as the <laughs> one I got for the mayor, the outgoing mayor, because you haven't done anything yet. So, um, <laughs> so next year, after you have a whole long list of accomplishments, I'll bring you the long one. The double, this, the double size. This is just the one that you can hand out to people and say, see, I'm mayor, it says right here. Um, but anyway, uh, and I, uh, I'm not going to do a formal presentation, but I brought one for the mayor pro tem, incoming mayor pro tem as well. Congratulations, Lenny. Um, I'll follow direction from the mayor. Yours is even smaller because the... Uh, <laughs> 
we don't we don't want to put you we'll give the, give the mayor a little bit of a special extra <laughs> extra booth but that's that is for you tony see i'm bigger uh, okay yeah. <laughs> this year then you'll do next year at your demotion party we'll get you the even bigger one, bigger one. But congratulations to both of you If I could have a council member from the city of South Pasadena, Michael Cacciotti. Uh, you're riding a bike to the, our city? Uh, she's an AQMD. She's going to raise your tax. <laughs> Tony, thank you. On behalf of the residents of the western San Gabriel Valley of South Pasadena, I want to join your friends, your relatives, the Chinese community, fellow council members, your staff, honoring you tonight. I've got something for Lloyd to in a moment. Um, I but noticed a lot of people came with certificates. So it's the holiday season, so I want to do something different. You remember 2,000 years ago, there were people coming to watch the birth of a Christ child. What did they bring? What did those three magi bring? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So is it, is it real gold? It's a so no, it's real. So hold this, Tony. I'm going to Before buy you come up. Lloyd. So, Mayor, in our city, we have a special medallion we give out for special occasions or special recognition. This is our city seal. It's a city tree, the oak tree, and it says, preserving the past, celebrating the present, and reaching for the future. And that's what West Covina is about. And I've been honored to join these men at different events in the San Gabriel Valley. The mayor's council members get together to work on transportation, air quality, China. homelessness issues. China. And, and I was about to say that, I wouldn't forget. And in this January, in sub-zero temperatures, I was able to spend time several days with Lloyd Har Harbing. In, this, in the city of Harbing, in the, what's the name of the, the region called? Harbing, Heilongjiang. Heilongjiang province, right adjacent to Russia, below zero, the river was frozen. Minus 20 degrees. Minus 20. <laughs> and I, was, uh, I observed these two gentlemen among 35 to 40 mayors from around the world, plug your city, encourage your city, encourage people from China to come over and invest. I was very honored to be there myself. So on behalf of the city of South Pasadena, myself, as a four-time mayor and council member, it's my honor to present you with the city of South Pasadena Honorable Medallion. Mayor, Mayor, congratulations. Yes, uh, for the elected official, would you please come up? Larry, the mayor of La, La Puente. So if you can have Valerie Munoz. Okay, and, uh, and uh, any other elected official? Josh, you want to come up? <laughs> yeah. Former Senator Josh Newman and yeah. Albert Ambrose yeah. from Former, uh, but City you're La elected before. I have nothing with me, just my admiration, my respect. So no, that's a come up, come up, come up. And, uh, <laughs> any of elected official come up, please? Okay, and uh, we want to recognize you since you are uh, either riding the bicycle or take the bus, so such a long distance. Are you driving or? I'm driving my car. I like it, okay. <laughs> You're my man, okay. Uh, but thank you so much, you wanna say something? Yes, on behalf of your neighboring city, City of La Puente, we want to thank Mayor Lloyd Johnson, or former Mayor Lloyd Johnson, for all of your service, as well as Mayor um, Tony Wu. We look forward to working collectively with you. But also, I, wor I represent the City of West Covina and the San Gabriel Basin Water Quality Authority, representing cities with non-pumping rights. So on behalf of the San Gabriel Basin Water Quality Authority, I look forward to continue representing the City of West Covina and working with you all. So thank you. Thank you. My uh, name is Albert Ambrose, uh, mayor of the city of Irwindale. I'd like to, uh, on behalf of the city of Irwindale and the council and all the staff, I'd like to give a fellow uh, devil dog congratulations <laughs> and the job well done as your, as your mayorship, as your, as your mayor. Uh, it's obvious that uh, you are really appreciated. Go of all the constituents here and your staff and your colleagues think of really highly of you. Tony? I don't got a big mouth, <laughs> but thank you for inviting me over, and I am sure with this new position as mayor, you're going to do an outstanding job. A good friend, good neighbor. Yes, we are.
and uh, as one who's had a chance to represent this area and work with many cities, um, I want to commend both of these gentlemen, and, and I want to let you all know that you have a wealth of wonderful public servants in West Covina, uh, and in your new mayor and your outgoing mayor, two of the very finest public servants I've had the pleasure to know. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Josh. Thank Josh uh, <coughs> was a state senator, okay, uh, last year, right? So, so anyway, uh, I don't want to say anything, okay, campaign, okay. <laughs> But good luck, okay. I, I'm, I'm neutral, okay, but good luck, okay. So anyway, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, any elected official want to come and say something? Mike, want to say something? Oh, okay, you're good. It's okay, I don't mind you didn't dress, okay? You can come up, you want to say something? So, uh, Mike Flower, one outstanding... Uh, Okay, our school board, West Covina school board, and he is such a great character. Uh, uh, Mike Flower helped the student of West Covina big time. Thank you, Mike. You sure don't want to say something? You sh I don't. Oh, yeah, cowboy shirt is fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next. Um, can I have Karen Yu from the Chinese American Association of West Covina presenting on behalf of the sister city Fuchin? Uh, hold Come on. Up. Uh, I think it should be Japanese, okay, Otawara is our first city, city, city. Uh, Pearl, Pearl, okay. Um, we, we have uh, four sister city, and uh, Pearl represents the Japanese, American, and uh, with Otawara, okay, and it is continue. We still have exchange student from both city, and you want to say something? Good evening, everyone. My name is Pearl Omiya, and I'm from the East San Gabriel Valley Japanese Community Center. We are very honored to be here tonight to congratulate both former Mayor Johnson and Mayor Tony Wu. Um, also, you know, we have cherished this relationship with the city of West Covina for a number of years. We established a city, sister city relationship in 2001, and we hope to continue this for years to come. So thank you very much, and congratulations to all of you and the city council as well. Thank you. Thank you, Pearl. Okay, thank you. Okay. Otowara is our sister city, continue very strong, and uh, they, they have their student come to, change student come to our city. At the same time, we have our student go to the Otowara. Okay, and remember 2016, uh, we have a three city council, including myself, went to Otowara. It's such a beautiful city. Okay, and we welcome the mayor come to our city again. So thank you so much. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. So you want to show to the Ottawa mayor that she show up. <laughs> <laughs> and, her, and her boss, Tim. Uh, I have Fu Chen next. Uh, the Beijing Feng Tai? Okay. Congratulations, former Mayor Lee Johnson and uh, our good friend, Tony. I bring the, the letter, uh, congratulations letter from the Mayor of the Beijing Feng Tai to the Honorable Mayor Tony Wu, my sincere congratulations on your success in the election of West Covina City Mayor because your great effort and support from Tai Beijing and West Covina City built a friendship bond in November 2017. The bond has been con continuously strengthened over the past two years, especially in youth exchange experience. The bonding relationship with West Covina holds great in importance and value to uh, Feng Tai Beijing. As the mayor of Feng Tai Beijing, it will be my pleasure to work together and expand our bonds to more domains. By doing so, our friendship will only grow closer and stronger. Last but not least, please come to Come and visit Feng Tai Beijing when you have the time. 
we will be honored to have you as our guest, Mayor of Fengtai, Beijing. Thank you. Also, on behalf of uh, EDI Media Inc., as a, we are the media company who work on the Asian American media business. This is our 30 years in town, so we will congratulations to the mayor, uh, Tony Wu. Uh, quickly, maybe, okay, people don't know who is James. I think everybody knows who is James, okay. James is our local resident, and uh, he owns uh, EDI Media Group. I think you guys know that the pretty big media company, including the TV station, radio, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they've been continuing and helping the community. And uh, uh, two years ago, you, ha you, you donated $10,000 for our shop local after school program, right? And uh, time's up, it's another 10000 maybe you need to donate to our. <laughs> And, and yeah, okay, but he's uh, really helping our student. He give $10,000 for three schools, Covina Unified, uh, no, two schools, Covina Unified and uh, West Covina Unified School for the after shop local after school program. And uh, he's really helping our student. And so meaning, okay, he not only in our city, at the same time, he's helping our student and for their growth, for their future. Thank you so much for EDI and James. And another thing I quickly, I want to talk about Feng Tai. Feng Tai is our sister city, Beijing, okay, and uh, they continue every year they send 50 students to our city and then we have a good connection with them and hopefully next year uh, and Joe so we could send our 50 students to Beijing and hopefully continue have this relationship with Beijing and West Covina but thank you so much appreciate it. Okay. Karen uh, with um, the letter from the sister city Fu Chin please You don't have a certificate, and you want to come up here to talk? I have a letter from I, I'm so sorry. Not <laughs> okay, congratulations. You go, you're doing the phone, to reading the phone? Yeah, it's 2019. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it's paperless. It's, it's paperless. She, say, she says it's paperless. Yeah, to, um, to say, you know, okay. yeah, environmental issue. Um, uh, congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's your night. It's not my night, it's Lois' night. <laughs> okay, and Lois' night, yeah. So I would like to take this opportunity to uh, present a letter from one of our sister city of Fushun, Beijing. You, know, you, you can print it out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I continue, please? Okay, yeah, so I can get on the stage. Um, so I'm gonna read it one uh, word to word, okay? I'm not supposed quickly, to. Quickly. Okay, all right, so here we go. Distinguished Mayor Tony Wu, Please allow me to extend our sincere congratulations to you on behalf of Feng Shui Municipal People's Government, Feng Shui. China. Feng, Feng, Shui, Feng Shui People's Government, China. Fu Shen. Fu Shen. You make me nervous. It's not because of you, okay? All right. Fu Shen, Beijing, the city is actually 6,258 miles away from us. So I did study, okay? Um, and they speak Chinese. The people over there speak Chinese. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, as the first Chinese American mayor in the 95 years history in West Covina, the you're immigrant, immigrant. immigrant, okay. I'm not supposed to change the word here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So um, your election is the proud, proud, proud of all Chinese in the world. A round of applause, please. Um, so, wish you every success in your work at the communication and cooperation between West Covina and Fu Shen will be better and better in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Uh, quickly, Fu Shen is a sister city starting uh, last year. Okay. In 2017, we have a Beijing Fengtai. 
Okay, and last year we, uh, we have a Fusun, and this year we have, okay, and uh, Harbin. Harbin is a t about 10, so 10 million population, is the capital of Heilongjiang, and they really want to build a relationship. And uh, uh, for Fusun, they are famous of a coal mine, and they, I think they are going to uh, okay, exchange students with us too. So we kind of put West Covina on the map, but thank you so much, appreciate it. Okay. If I could have CC Ku um, presenting for Sister City Harpin come up. Uh, yes, yeah, thank you, CC. Okay, um, this is a Harpin. We went with Lowy Johnson and yeah, Michael okay. Gaziati. We went to their snow and uh, uh, fast ice and snow festival. It's very famous. They carve everything. I put on the Facebook. Unbelievable, beautiful. And uh, it's okay. I think it's good for us to make a direct flight from Ontario to. Hard beans only nine hours, okay. And then we we can go over there. They come over here, so we can do a tourism, okay. And because it's it's much cheaper for 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 us to go over there for nine hours fly and to see the beautiful snow and ice festival, and uh, it's totally totally different. So anyway, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I'm CC president of Northeast Overseas Chinese Friendship Association. Southern California. I feel very honored to be here representing Harbin government and Harbin City's mayor, Sun Tzu, to present three rewards to West Koina. The first, the first one, friendly exchange city relationship between West Koina China Harbin. Another later congratulation from Harbin Mayor to West Kavina Mayor Tony Wu. Thank you. And the third one, invitation to the 36th International Ice and Snow Festival period between the January. We are, you know, we still remember last year we visited Harbin and uh, 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 Pos uh, yeah, Posadina Mayor, <laughs> we together and the Johnson. So, uh, that the first read? I don't know. No? Yeah, save the time. You know, uh, Harbin is my hometown, and West Kawina is my neighbor. So I think in the future, I will do my best. Always support you, assist you between the two cities, and if you need anything, we will do my best to support yeah, the- But we need money. <laughs> yeah, of course, I need you. <laughs> so, take a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the Can we have Eli Lieberman, um, Sister City from Israel, come up, please? Oh, Israel. Okay. We might go to Israel too. Who, who want to go to Tel Aviv? I'm sorry that uh, the certificate has not arrived yet. However, we're going to go to Israel next uh, January in my jet, and I'm going to introduce you in, uh, to the sister. City, the city that I grew up, that today is one of the most high-tech uh, city in the world. It's Intel, biggest center is there, and actually every uh, component that you have in your cell phone or computer is being built there. So, uh, congratulations for your mayor. I know that you are going to do a great job, and in January 14 we're going to fly to Israel. Okay. Thank you. 
so you heard about January, right? Okay, he's going to take us to Tel Aviv <laughs> if we have time, but we're busy. Okay, uh, next please. Fernandico from the Filipino American Community of Los Angeles, please come up. Good evening, everyone. Uh, in behalf of the Filipino American community of Los Angeles County, um, our congratulations to our new mayor of the city of West Covina, Honorable Mayor Tony Wu. In recognition of your leadership, hard work, dedication, and service to the Filipino American community in the city of West Covina, your commitment to the Filipino empowerment in this community is to be commended. Thank you so much. I, I want to quickly say something about the Filipino American community in West Covina. Okay, and the Filipino American in West Covina has a biggest group uh, besides the Hispanic group. Okay, the second one is a Filipino American. And uh, this morning we just uh, went to the grand opening for the Okay, Jelly B. Jelly B is uh, okay number number four. Okay, number one, the biggest okay food uh, corporation in Asia, and now they're moving West Covina as their headquarters. Okay, and uh, I'm so honored for Filipino American to work with City Okay, or West Covina because we are together. This is our city. Okay, we want to build together. So I want to thank so much for the okay the LA County. A Filipino American represent the West Covina community of a Filipino American to come over here and uh, we want to work together and we want the Filipino American to come in to help out to build our city to improve our city. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Also, uh, I'd like to uh, give my appreciation to or my congratulations to our first Filipino American Councilwoman in the city of West Covina. Uh, you're honorable. Congratulations. And this morning, this morning, the JV, I already mentioned about is so proud. We have a uh, lady, lady. Okay, we have uh, so proud to have a first American, okay, Filipino American to be elected as a city council woman. And not only that, she will be the first, okay, uh, elect uh, male pro -ten. And the uh, next year, December, she will be the first time the Filipino American mayor of West Covina. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I hope not, not bad thing happened to me, but otherwise she will, <laughs> <laughs> she might kill me, so she will be earlier, okay, but anyway, congratulations, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, Can I have Angel Chu um, from the Chinese American Association of West Covina come up, please? Ooh, flower. Oh, flower. Oh. Finally, I have some flower. <laughs> Good evening, um, mayors, city council, staff. Okay. <laughs> I'm grateful for this opportunity here tonight with present Chinese American Association of West Covina, CAWC. My name is Angel Chu. To unite and empower to promote West Covina prosperity, that is the slogan of a CAWC. Congratulations, Mayor Wu. We are confident that under your leadership, West Kowina become a better city. And um, today we have a, a lot of members from uh, CWC. Can you, do you mind to come over? We'll take a picture with the, can you come? Yeah, CWC. Yeah, all member. So of course, this is your flowers. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Next. Sorry, Don Jezamora from the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals of the San Gabriel Valley. Please come up. Thank you, Tony. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but actually, Tony is Hispanic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mi gente. So, you su conseja y amigo. Viva West Covina. <laughs> exactly. My name is Onaji. I'm representing the National Association of Hispanics Real Estate Professionals. I'm the upcoming vice president for next year. And Tony has helped us uh, throughout the past couple of years, um, you know, with our community. And we do thank you. I did not bring a certificate, <laughs> but I did bring you something. It's a little gold. pin. It's in gold, right? Yes, of <laughs> course, it's gold. Um, it's an honorary pin. And this will actually make you um, a platinum member, member of our uh, National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. So I will be honorable Hispanic. You will, yes. And that makes you a member for life as well. So thank you for all of your help and we look forward to working with you. Thank you so and much. all of you guys as well. <laughs> Lloyd, you were great by the way, <laughs> as a mayor. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pastor T.C. Johnson from Murph Chapel, St. Paul, the San Gabriel Valley, uh, and AACP. Please come up. I have a friend. I have a friend. I have a friend, too. I have a friend, I do. I'm your friend. I have a friend. I have a friend. I have a friend. I have a lot of friends. His name is <laughs> Mayor Tony Wu. My pastor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, on behalf of the San Gabriel Valley NAACP, uh, President uh, T.J. Campbell, uh, myself, uh, Pastor T.C. Johnson, Merck Chapel, St. Paul, AME Church, uh, we are so delighted uh, that you are now the mayor of West Covina. Uh, we also are thankful for uh, former Mayor Lloyd Johnson who come to so many events at Murph Chapel as well as NAACP. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, on Sunday as we celebrate our 39 year anniversary uh, at Murph Chapel St. Paul where it used to be a gas station there. So now you can fill up with the spirit yes. and not gasoline. <laughs> so thank you, Mayor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wonderful brother. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Johnson. I have a friend. I have a lot of friends. Can I have Chris and Andre and Mike Mellistrom from the Christ Lutheran School come up? Good evening, everybody. Hi, Principal. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you. Uh, to my left is uh, School Board President Michael Melstrom. I welcome him tonight. We have some other council members here from our, our church, and you heard from Pastor uh, Hamill earlier this evening. And uh, I just wanted to reach out this evening to Tony and uh, thank you so much for all of your many, many years of uh, support to our church and school. Uh, thank you for uh, bringing in all of the donors through the years and, <laughs> and all of the other supporters uh, that have helped our children. And it's helped all the children in West Covina that attend our school. So I appreciate that. Congratulations to you uh, as our new mayor. And also, uh, thank you, um, former Mayor uh, Johnson, for your support of our school through the years as well. So thank you so much. And a certificate for you. You can open it up. Congratulations. And looking forward to many more years. Yes. Quickly, Christ was in church. Justin, see over there taking pictures? Okay, and Megan, they all went to the preschool. And now they are.
Yeah, exactly. Okay, so can you believe it? Okay, time flew by. And uh, so, so Christ Lutheran Church is uh, such a wonderful school and church. And thank you so much for your support. And we'll continue to support you. And uh, we know you support the uh, Halloween. We have 1,000 people showing up. And uh, thank you so much for your contribution for our community. Thank you. Okay, okay can we have Danny Zhang from the Hasi ha Peking um, Opera Academy of Los Angeles? Come up, sorry. Oh, the fine art, okay. The academy. Yeah. Honey, what do you want me to say? <laughs> See, I have honey for tonight. I just found out you have more than one honey, huh? Yeah, you have a lot. You want me to say official okay. or private? My, my wife's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, okay, I'm nervous. You, uh, I, I'm an actress, but I'm nervous. I'm very happy to be here to be here to see the process of your show. You've always been there to watch our show, and uh, I would like to thank you uh, for the formal uh, mayor. Uh, you always be there to watch I'm our so show. Good. Yeah, Mr. Johnson. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, Okay, on behalf of the Chinese opera community, I'd like to thank, uh, thank Mayor Tony Wu for uh, your continuous uh, support of our art and the artists. Uh, we look forward to working with you and bring uh, the Chinese opera uh, to this wonderful uh, city of uh, West Covina uh, so the children can learn and appreciate the beauty of our art. Thank you. Uh, my name is Danny Zen, and I present this certificate of appreciation to Mayor Tony Wu on behalf of Huasui Peking Opera at Academy of Los Angeles. Okay, I feel a little bit embarrassing and ashamed about my certificate. <laughs> it's the first certificate I am giving out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Danny Zhang is a very famous opera artist in China. Okay, and she immig immigrate immigrate to United States and starting the academy and teaching the children to appreciate the fine art. And that is a tradition, thousand years of uh, lead opera, and uh, she is trying to continue to have that tradition so for people want to learn. And hopefully you have a chance to come to West Covina and to teach our students over here. And for your talent, continue to, okay, have a tradition going on for this, okay, and the opera artists, okay, for all the children. Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Can I have Yin Wong from the U.S. Census Bureau come up, please? Okay. You had a flower here? You can go first. Okay. Uh, I'm the Professor Richard Liao. I'm retired. And Tony is my guest speaker for North American. Chan American Writer Association. He had a, he had a, a keynote speaker before. So today I bring something for this back from his hometown, Taiwan, Taipei. And also I bring my the yearbook inside. It's a big certificate for him. Have his name. And also this one for you. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, quickly, Richard is a uh, uh, president of a uh, writer association, and uh, I support the fine art. I support the, all the artists because they are very difficult to survive, and I think we need to help them, especially if they continue to struggle and continue to carry on the fine art, the art, the writing. So I want to appreciate, okay, and they continue to develop, okay, for our community to appreciate, okay, the writing, to appreciate, okay, the painting, appreciate uh, the music, I think it's so important, okay, and the children without art, they basically, they will go to all the different area, but with art, they appreciate, so I think it's so important to bring this into our community. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. So my name is Yan Wang, and uh, 
I'm the recruiting manager of uh, U.S. Census Bureau. And tonight, I'm so proud of uh, Mayor Tony Wu. As the first immigrant, it's never easy. Uh, you need to overcome so many, difficulty, so many difficulties. And uh, I just met the old friends over there. And yeah, congratulations. And uh, our uh, U.S. Census Bureau offers over uh, 500,000 uh, job openings uh, nationwide. So um, depending on the population, and the, uh, we, have, uh, we need to allocate six, $675 billion allocated into each community. Then we will, have, we will benefit your hospitals, uh, your schools, and the Adam stories never happen again because we recruit more people uh, working for us. And uh, uh, like if you call 911 and then you have pretty enough like uh, firefighters to, to be there to save a person's life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Can I have? I think the census two twenty twenty 2020 is very important. I think it's coming out to so everybody to report, okay, truthfully about the population, about how many people live in uh, their home. So please fill up the census 2020, okay, so we can get, okay, the federal help, okay, the grant, okay, it's all depend on the population. Okay, yes. Jane Sun, CEO from South Hills Academy. Okay, South Hills, South Hills Academy. Congratulations, Mayor. Uh, Okay. This is Jen San from uh, Hong Kong and uh, Shenzhen, uh, the most richest city in China. So uh, congratulations for the uh, mayor of the city of West Covina. And I'm very honored to invite my uh, principal uh, to, on behalf of South Hills Academy for your electing and acting to be the uh, mayor of the city. I know you love Benny. <laughs> and uh, with your big mouth and uh, persuasion, <laughs> persuasion, I made a decision. I need translate. Yeah, I made a decision to spend millions to, to help the city to investment for you. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. And uh, uh, this is my student Wait. from the yeah. I, I do have, yeah. I'm a principal, I don't need this. Congratulations, Tony. I would like to make one recommendation for a motion to your council, and that is and, uh, Congress and the Senate both have a five-minute speaking limit. I think that that's a good thing to pass. <laughs> your time's up. Your time's up. <laughs> Mike. And quickly, okay, South Hill okay, Academy is in West Covina for a long time. And uh, currently, they're helping the exchange students uh, come to West Covina. For Beijing Fontai, the 50 students, uh, they, they went to South Hill Academy. And uh, hopefully, we can expand it to the, our public system so public school can okay, accept the, the exchange students. So in that way, we can have a more students come to our city. So, but thank you so much for South Hill Academy. Okay, and uh, you are all South Hill Academy. Okay, oh, Student on the on fence right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Are we done? Are we done? Are we no. Done? If we can have Linger Chu from the LA Diamond Lions Club oh, okay. come up, please. Who? She's coming up. Who? Oh, oh. Lions. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Everybody, I'm Ms. Linge Chu, representative of the you know, LA Diamond Lion Clubs. Okay, this is all our group come here celebrate for our new mayor, for Tony Wu. Okay, congratulations. Is that money? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I will have half. Okay. <laughs> is that a tie? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, another gold pin. 
I think it's a fake one, though. Thank you so much. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Can I you. have Annie Chu with the Chinese magazine please come up? Are we done? Congratulations. Okay. Um, so we just got the new printout of the Chinese magazine as um, our new mayor, Mr. Tony Wu, on our cover. So he hasn't seen the cover yet, so it's going to be a little surprise for him. So um, the shipment is on the way from China all the way to here. So I only got a cover for you, and then so I hope you like it. Um, but we can change it in the future. <laughs> Um, so um, after hearing all the story, and then um, Chinese Magazine is very honored and proud, and I was the one that were interviewing Mr. Tony Wu, and um, he's a great mentor, has a great sense of humor, and then uh, he's a successful businessman, and then he's also a very good community leader, and um, he, he's just very good, and I congratulate on your new adventure, and I look forward to, um, you know, discover more story of West Covina, and also um, in the future, we would love to establish like a writing program, um, so if anybody loves to write, and then we're happy to publish for you guys, and we want, um, I'm also a former West Covina resident, so I'm... Hello. And as what Tony was asking me, and then I will move back to West Covina. Yes. And then we wish to continue to um, serve the community and also to support Mr. Tony Wu. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. If there's any other organization we missed, please step up now. Otherwise, we're going to... All right. We have oh, okay. Uh, I have uh, Lion District Governor, uh, Nick Delicana, and uh, Grand Knight, uh, Max Dominguez, and EDG also. Governor of Lions Club. Thank you again. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Okay. One more. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. Uh, this is Mr. Yan, and he is the chief representative of. USA China Entrepreneurs Association, and we all come from Beijing. And today we want to congratulate that Tony Wu was elected as a mayor of West Covina, and this is the present we brought from Beijing. We need a stand. Yeah, we have a stand. You have yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, Mr. Dou Chiu is an uh, artist from China. She's going to present his, uh, her own painting to our new mayor, uh, Tony Wu. Congratulations, yeah. You are now new mayor of uh, West Covina City. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I want to say, um, Mishi is a very famous artist in China, okay? And she, I went to her exhibition, okay? And I think I posted on Facebook, you remember that the beautiful painting is, is from her, okay? And she came and uh, she want to attend this event, okay? And uh, she want to show and ho show the painting. Hopefully, you next you, next time you have a chance, you can have an exhibition in West Covina. It's a beautiful painting, it's very, very good. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate it. Okay. We done? Do we have anybody want to come up? Okay, so we done? Anybody want to come up? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Zhu Junying. Uh, I'm a Chamber of Commerce, Xinyang, and uh, America. Uh, I bring uh, this uh, yellow, yellow ribbon. That means uh, celebrating Mr. Wu uh, become uh, mayor of, uh, of West Carolina. Not emperor? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish West Carolina better and better. Thank you so much. Okay. And, uh, uh, the the nose is a business association and being came to come to the West Covina many many times, okay, and bring the business and bring people over here. Uh, we'll hopefully, we we'll continue to have uh, this relationship. But thank you for this uh, yellow, okay, a scarf. Okay, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Really appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Okay. If that's it, we're going to conclude with these flowers from Cathay Bank. Oh, Kase Bank. Oh, okay. Can, thank you, Kase Bank. Are we done? Yeah. Are we, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I know, I know. You say, oh, give me a break. Hurry up. Okay, get this thing over with. Okay, I want to get this over with. Okay, I want to say, okay, a few words. Okay, and anybody I didn't mention, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you want to say something? Welcome. Come over here, say something. Okay, Alfred Williams, thank you so much for coming up. Okay, and uh, a lot of people. Okay, uh, Fortuna, Mr. Fortuna, thank you so much to be here. Okay, a lot of guy and uh, okay, Fabio, thank you so much for be here. Okay, and uh, and my staff, uh, come over here. I'm not going to pay you overtime. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You own with your free will, okay. But anyway, thank you so much to be here. Okay, but quickly, okay, and oh Lucy over here, thank you so much, okay, to be here. But I really appreciate okay, all the love, okay, and all you are uh, showing up tonight, okay, and uh, for this okay, speaking true, uh the mayorship is not really uh, such a big deal, okay, and uh, okay, but it's a very honor to be a mayor of West Covina because West Covina is such a big city, a beautiful city, a vibrant city. And I want to thank all my council members, their endurance with me because my big mouth, okay? And so, so they're helping me uh, together, even Lloyd Johnson, okay? And we work together. But I, I really quickly want to conclude with this, is this. A lot of people say, you have no chance to do anything in your life. And I would tell them this, look at me, American dream, is life and well, because I'm an example of American dream. I came over here as an immigrant, and I went to the school in the film, and later on, okay, I get kicked out into Hollywood, then I decided to say, damn, I'm going to make some money, and I'm going to buy Hollywood. So I went to real estate business and be successful, and later on, okay, I decided to come out to serve. And I want to thank, okay, the pastor Johnson, okay, with uh, NAACP. And I went to their event, I told them this, without their struggling and fighting, 
I have no chance to serve today to be a mayor of West Covina because civil rights from them and that why we can more equal and just. So that's why today I want to share with you is the, what my background to become who I am today, okay, and to serve and try to help the city, okay, be vibrant, okay, and be proud for all the residents and for our future generation continue to vibrant in our city. And that's what it's about. And we allow all our people in different group, Filipino American, African American, okay, Caucasian American, the Asian American, Japanese American, and all come together today. And Hispanic American, the big 50% of our population, all come today together, united in West Covina and what this is about. So I want to thank you. Marsha, thank you so much. As our, as our auditor, I think hope our books look okay. Okay, so, so you were showing up, it touched my heart. I want to thank you so much, Jerry, okay, the architect. Okay, I appreciate, okay, my, my appointed, okay, okay community, okay, um, service commissioners, and Gail, thank you so much. Okay, we are a church member. But again, we are all friends. We are all neighbor. We work together, right? We want to build our city, make our city better. So conclusion. Thank you so much, and so honored to be mayor of West Covina. Uh, I cannot say I waiting year and a half already. And I, <laughs> finally, today is a today, and tonight is a day. But thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to turn over to our assistant city clerk. Thank you, Honorable Mayor. I'd like to ask for a motion and a second to modify the mayoral secession order tonight with Tony Wu as mayor and Letty Lopez Viado as mayor pro tem, which will require a four affirmative votes. Do I have a motion? I'll move. I'll second. Motion? A motion. motion. A motion, please. I'll make a motion. Oh, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear her, sorry. Uh, uh, our councilwoman Shoemaker made the motion, and uh, we have our councilman Cassiano okay, second. Okay. So can I have a roll call, please? Yes. Councilman Castellanos? Aye. Councilman Johnson? Aye. Councilmember Shoemaker? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Lopez Viado? Aye. Mayor Wu? Aye. Five zero approved. Thank you. Okay, uh, Okay. we go to designation of uh, alternate to the Los Angeles County Senate, okay, Sanitation District. And currently, uh, I am the mayor, so I will be, okay, the, the, Senate, okay, the sanitation uh, representative. And then we're going to nominate uh, Dario Cassiano as the alternate. Do I have a motion? I'll move. I'll second. Okay, all approved. Any objection? So, so, five zero approved. Do I have any of uh, comment from council members? Go ahead, uh, Cassiano. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and congratulations on your ascent to mayor. And thank you, Mayor uh, Lloyd Johnson, for your tenure as mayor, uh, and. One thing I'd like to comment today, we had, we were on TV, our police department was involved in a chase that began on the freeway, and it was a very successful, very professional resolution, so thank you guys for that, and while we're at that, thanking our police department, I'd like to also thank our fire department for the Gold Service EMS Award. Thank you guys both.
And any other comment from our council members? Um, Betty Lopez, want to say something? You said it all. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you, Mayor Johnson, well, former Mayor Johnson, and congratulations. I do look forward to working with you and making our city a vibrant, successful city. And uh, thank you for everybody who attended here today. It was nice seeing the full support, uh, seeing it differently. So thank you again, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Proton. If I don't have anything, should I move to adjourn? Is there? Yep, the meeting adjourn. Okay. <laughs>